Um, so thank you for joining us today. My name is Stephanie Baxter. I am the Director of Programming and Engagement at the New Hampshire Tech Alliance. I am a newer member of the Alliance team started back in September. I will be overseeing our membership, engagement, and our events as well. Um, one of the big things we're looking at for 2022 is increasing engagement, um, member to member engagement, member to industry engagement. Um, and really um, looking at um, what opportunities the Alliance can provide to, um, to our members. So that's what we're talking about today, some new member, new member benefits that you can take advantage of in 2022. Um, I know there's some people on here who are not members as well, so it's a great opportunity to learn a little bit more about the Alliance. Um, so in 2022, you can look forward to seeing more meetups and user groups, in-person and virtual events and um, some regional networking opportunities. So before we get started, um, and for those on the call who may not know exactly who we are, so we are a statewide technology association. Um, we support companies at every level of growth from the earliest stage startups through established leaders in the global economy. Um, we build partnerships for enhancing knowledge and shaping public policy. Um, what we are not, we are not a government funded organization. We are not run by the state of New Hampshire or anything like that. We are run by our members and our sponsors and our tech ecosystem partners. Um, all of the work we do at the Alliance can fit into these four buckets here, um, talent and workforce, education and programs, advocacy and policy and ecosystem engagement. And you'll see today as we talk through the benefits, they all fit into these four categories as well. And before we begin, I just wanted to bring some statistics up um, just to understand how big the tech industry is in New Hampshire and how important it is. So it accounts for over 72,000 jobs in New Hampshire, which is over 10% of the workforce. Um, there is an $11 billion um, economic impact in New Hampshire, making it one of the largest industries. So we really need um, organizations like the Tech Alliance to be a unifying voice for the industry, to be able to help shape policy and to represent our members and be able to have a more cohesive industry um, all geared around growing. Um, so our benefits today we'll talk about fall into three different categories. We have workforce, engagement, and events. So we'll start with workforce. We're very excited to announce today that we will be launching um, an industry job board for tech jobs. This will be, um, this is when it will be launched, will be only for our member companies to enter their jobs. There will be a public facing site on the Tech Alliance site. We find a lot of our members, um, excuse me, a lot, a lot of people find the Tech Alliance site when they're job hunting, looking for tech jobs. Um, people from out of state find our website to find out who the players are and look for jobs as well. So we're really excited to launch that this month. Um, there'll be information coming out to our members about how you can enter your jobs onto the job board. It's very easy in your member account, very self-explanatory. Um, we do host job fairs throughout the year um, and we offer a 401k retirement program through one retirement source. So they provide our members with access to retirement plans that offer discounted pricing and fiduciary services that small businesses may not be able to obtain on their own. And then we also have our government affairs committee, uh, government affairs committee that represents our members at the state and at the federal level. Um, so they are reviewing legislation, making recommendations regarding supporting or opposing bills, and they develop strategy that can lead to beneficial outcomes for the industry. So some engagement benefits, like I mentioned earlier, engagement is uh, a big item for us in 2022 and how we can improve that. So this is um, just the beginning of the list. Um, so member news. So as anyone has subscribed to our newsletter can see, we post our member news uh, in our newsletter. This fall, we started posting on our social as well to make sure our member news is getting out there to a wider network. We'll continue doing that. There is an ability for you to offer member to member discounts. If you have a special offer that you would like to um, offer for only members, you can do that in your account. Um, you'll receive updates on legislation like we just talked about, um, included in the online member list. And these last two items here, um, 
participation on Alliance committees and community Slack channels. We're going to talk about in a bit more detail. Um, so committees of uh, the Tech Alliance is very volunteer driven. We could not do half the work we do without our volunteers. They're wonderful people who donate their time to run these committees. So I encourage everybody to take a look at this list if you're looking to um, give back, to donate time, to learn something new. They're great professional development opportunities where a lot of people, you know, you can learn public speaking skills by speaking at our events or being on a committee. So there's really something for any interest. There's a startup committee, there's biomed tech. If you're a friendly person and want to be an ambassador, you know, there's a place for everybody in this list. Um, and we encourage you all to get engaged and you would do that by reaching out to me and I can put you in touch with the appropriate people. Um, so we hope you'll consider that in the future as well. It really helps us with our program programming. And again, we're so grateful for our volunteers. And then we're also excited to announce these Slack channels. So as you may know, um, as a company member, your employees are also members. So your employees can take care, take advantage of any of the benefits we've talked about today and any benefit that you receive through the, your membership at the Alliance. So uh, these groupings here are a starting point for the channels that we're offering. So we broke down by job type and then a few different topic areas. Uh, um, again, this is a starting point. The community will dictate what channels are needed or not needed. Um, so you'll be receiving an email of how you can um, offer that out and join these channels. Um, again, we really wanted to offer it as a way for our member companies to offer additional benefits to their employees. Um, having a sense of community is so important. Um, it is you know, always a topic of conversation in New Hampshire. So these are just a, a, one small way people can connect. IT people can connect with other IT people and talk about whatever they'd like to. So. We're excited for that, that you'll get that info very soon. And then events. Um, a lot of people I think know the Tech Alliance through our events. Um, so as a member, we do give preference to speaking opportunities at our events. Um, and not only at our events, but we are often reached out to by other organizations, by uh, media outlets looking for referrals and recommendations. Um, it happens almost on a weekly basis, I would say. Um, so we are always recommending our members. And on that note, reach out to us and let us know what you're up to so we can recommend you too. Um, it's a great way to get your name out in the community below, uh, beyond the Alliance. You know, the Alliance is here to make the connection, help make connections that you need. Um, if you have an event coming up, we do have an online calendar and we'll post the events uh, in our newsletter the couple weeks leading up to help you drive attendance. Uh, new for 2022, we are waiving the application fee for product of the year um, and our other signature competitions. So that is just for our members, which is an exciting benefit. Um, and once in-person events come back, there'll be special member pricing for tickets at our events. And I just wanted to um, touch briefly on what our events are. So our Tech Woman Power Breakfast is a monthly event. If you have not checked that event out, I highly suggest it. It is excellent networking and excellent speaker content. Um, right now they're still being held virtually, so it's perfect. You can just kind of stroll in with your breakfast uh, the second Wednesday of every month. Um, eBrew is a next year will be a quarterly event. It's a networking event that we hold in Portsmouth. Um, as you've seen, probably since COVID started, we've hosted a high number of webinars on all different topic areas, trying to just bring more educational content to our members. Um, Speed Venture Summit matches up startups with investors. Our Tech Woman Awards, we honor a Tech Educator of the Year, a Tech Student of the Year, and a Tech Professional of the Year. So you may have seen last week on our social media that we announced our winners um, and for next year, hope to um, celebrate that in the springtime. Product of the year is rather self-explanatory what it is, but I want to mention we just had this October 28th. It was a completely virtual, live virtual event. Um, it's on our YouTube channel. I highly suggest you check it out. The five finalists who presented were excellent innovative companies and products. Um, I highly, again, suggest you check out the recording on our YouTube page. Um, I think we're nearing about 5,000 views. So it's been 
far and wide um, viewed around the world, around the country, and here in New Hampshire too. Um, our next event coming up is our Innovation Summit. So this is a event that was started last year in response to COVID and having to be virtual and kind of rolling in some programming that normally happened throughout the year. So it is a celebration of all the innovation in New Hampshire at all different phases of growth. So we have a startup showcase for the earliest stage startups who are looking to get their names out there. Um, we do an, a panel discussion with growth stage startups. We bring in some past entrepreneur of the, entrepreneurs of the year to discuss what innovation in New Hampshire means. What are the benefits? What are the challenges? And we wrap it all up with announcing our 2021 Entrepreneur of the Year. So it's all virtual happening December 6th through 9th. Um, there'll be a registration link up on our website if you want to register to have everything delivered right to your inbox. Um, we're really excited. It's a really fun event and it really highlights the story in New Hampshire of innovation. Um, so member renewals will be going out in the next this week, next week time period. Um, so this is just the breakdown of what our membership tiers are. It is broken down by annual revenue. So you can see which box you fit into and the price below that is your dues per year. Um, and in case you forgot where your member account is, you know, with COVID, I don't think we're all logging in to anything quite as often anymore. So we have a few different places on our website. You can see there with the arrows of where you can access the account. And of course, there's a forgot your password feature. And before I close, I wanted to touch on our tech ecosystem packages. So our TEPs are our number one partners throughout the year. They are year-long sponsorship packages that are committed to supporting the tech ecosystem in New Hampshire. There is exposure for your company all year round. Um, we can button everything up in one conversation for you know, where your logos will be, which events you'll sponsor. Um, and we're in the process of starting those conversations now. So as I mentioned previously, we are not a government funded organization. We do rely on our members and our sponsorships and our TEPs. Um, and the packages range from $5,000 to $20,000 and include membership. So there's really great value. I encourage you to consider a package for this year. It really, you get a lot of branding throughout the year in the tech community. And my contact information will be at the end for anyone who wants more information about that. So with that, I will open it up to questions. My email is here for anyone who wants to reach out for any further information.